of the Design Dash. You took your prototypes and you shared them with your interviewee and maybe other people to get some feedback. And I'm sure there were some things that you learned from this conversation that have made you think about what you might change about your design for the future. And so that brings us to the iterate step. And this is going to be the final step in our design dash today. Make sure you send the interviewee back to their group and thank them for their time. And you'll also have to take some time for any of your group members who are interviewed by other groups to fill them in on what they learned during the previous step. At this stage, you want to use some of the information and the feedback that you got from the last step into thinking about what you could do next. Now, the goal is to make some change in response to this feedback. It doesn't mean that you have to make your current version better. You might have learned that you were totally off in the way you went about solving the problem, so you might need to go in a different direction. You might choose to make a completely new version of your design that includes improvements based on that feedback. You might also decide that you don't know enough to be able to design something at this stage. So this would be a great time to do some research into some of the background of your topic, looking at how other people have solved the problem, and also trying to understand a little bit better just where you may have fallen short in your design concept. This might even mean that you need more feedback. So you might share your design with more people in order to truly understand how it works and how it doesn't quite hit the mark. We've moved quickly through this design process today. And the goal was to get to the testing phase, the previous phase, as quickly as possible so that you could get feedback on your idea. You might be feeling compelled to use this as an opportunity to do all those little things that you, you decided you didn't have time to do, but I encourage you to resist that urge. Now is not the time to actually polish it up. You want to think about what's next for you and for your team. So spend seven minutes discussing with your team. Think about ways to iterate to a design that is better, that is different, and that fits the needs of your user. And then we'll call this design dash completed. Congratulations. We'll see you next time.